Hi, welcome to Azure Everyday with Pragmatic Works. My name is Steve Hughes. I'm a principal consultant at Pragmatic Works, and I'm going to talk to you today about cognitive analytics, in particular the search APIs that are available. So the first obvious thing, you think search and Microsoft, you think Bing. So I think every API in this category is prefaced with the word Bing for obvious reasons. So if it works on Bing, it probably works in the API. It probably is a really good guess. So we're going to, this is going to be one of the simpler ones we talk about because people are pretty well to understand search. So right now, there are five core APIs that are easily available and are really easy to understand what they do in the Bing in the search category, right? So first of all, Bing Web Search. So the Bing Web Search API, you can add uh, web search capability into your applications or to your apps uh, pretty straightforward with this tool. Moving on, uh, Bing Image and Bing Video, there's two different search APIs there. So if you look at a typical, um, you know, if you do Bing search online, you look, you'll see the images and you'll see video. The same kind of concept is there. You're using both of these, uh, video, these search APIs to search for specifically around images and video that you would want to use. You also have the ability to do the Bing new search video, or new search video, the new search API. The new search API is uh, really a um, opportunity to actually work with the news. And so um, if you're looking for corporate news, think of something like um, if you're doing research or you have a page or a web page internally to look at companies, you can say, hey, go give me the latest news about a company. This search API will allow you to integrate that directly into your app um, and only bring back news articles around that. So limiting your search to those things that are relevant to what you're trying to do. And then you actually can also have the Bing Auto Suggest API, which basically uh, when you're doing the auto, you know, the typing into the search window and it's all suggesting results, it'll do the same thing for you here and, and kind of do a high speed result search. And you can add that capability as well to your applications. There are two other areas within the Bing search APIs to talk about. There's Bing Entity Search. Um, this uses context provided by you and your application to limit the space or the sites that are being searched. This may be something relevant. So say you um, say you work in a motorcycle shop or something like that. Let's go to the motorcycle shop. And what you want to do in your building out for that motorcycle shop, and but as people are starting to look, they may want to and look at other motorcycles or look at things around motorcycles. So you can actually build into your application using the entity search by understanding the context of there to say, hey, I want to just search in motorcycles and those kind of things. I'll limit it to the following sites because they're sites that you're interested in. Um, but the other side of that is you might actually be able to take advantage of your location. So if you're looking to build a coffee search or you want know, to say, hey, I want to find all the coffee shops near me, you can do something like that. Well, that one could take advantage of the entity search, entity search as well because you can actually feed into it the you know, the geographic location of where you are and you'd be able to use that uh, that additional attributes to enhance the search uh, results. We also have Bing Custom Search. Uh, this is used to define what you want to do in search. You can embed it in your apps. Uh, it's a, you know, it has a UI already built in. It's ad free. You, you're able to do a lot with this. This allows you more of a custom search experience within your application, leveraging the Bing search engine and the rest of the capabilities. But really a customizable, so it doesn't, you know, it's for you to do what you want to. So these are a number of the things that are available to you in Bing search. Um, just make sure, you know, enjoy those things if you want to. Um, so Bing search is one of those things that, you know, you can use in any of your apps, at any point. Uh, feel free to take it, obviously, to take advantage of that. Check it out online for what's available there. Uh, if you have any other questions, click the link below. We'd be happy to help you get Bing Search enabled on your site and working with your data. Thank you and have a great day.